What's up all my musicians out there? So in this very brief tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to set up Splice Sounds with Ableton. Now obviously Splice is an amazing platform. You can download royalty free samples like that, import them in your projects. You don't have to worry about like the legal rights, anything like that. So when it comes to this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to basically set it up in such a way that makes it more efficient to import those samples into Ableton. So you can do it very, very quickly. Now obviously first you wanna open up Ableton. And then I'm gonna to go to places. In case you don't know, these are basically locations on your hard drive that you reference to, to make it a lot more accessible and quicker to import anything into your projects. So I'm gonna to go to add folder right here, right under places. And then I'm gonna to go to basically for Chero or basically whatever your hard drive or the name of your computer is. And I kind of have it here, but I'm gonna go then to splice. And then I'm gonna to go to sounds, then packs and boom. Right when I get to packs, I'm gonna click open. Now, if you notice now, under places, I have a new folder called packs. When I click packs, these are basically now all my samples. So, for example, you know, I can pull up any one of these samples now that I've downloaded. You know, so I have a bunch of them here, as you can see. You know, obviously, I've been uh, working on some Moomiton lately. But now I can quickly, you know, grab any sample that I want. Go here, bring it in, and that's how you do it.